walk into my parlor, it's fine to the floor. It's the prettiest little parlor that you ever did spy. The way into my parlor is the wine and stair. And I've many curious things to show when you're there. Oh, no, no, so little flock to ask me is in vain. But who goes up your wine and stair and let come down again? I'm sure you must be a little dear with soaring up so high. Oh, well, you rest upon my little bit so spotted to your flight. There are pretty curtains drawn around, the sheep will find the flame. And if you like to rest a while, I'll smugly tuck you here. Oh, no, no, said the little bug, I must have heard it said. They never, never wake again, who sleep upon your bed? To the cunning spider, to the flock. You see, friend, what can I do? To prove the warm affection I've always felt for you. I have within my pantry good store for all this night. I'm sure you're very welcome when you please to take a slice. Oh, no, no, said the little flock. I'm sure I cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry. I <laughs> get that rich to be. Hey, Terry, said the little spy, you're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gods and women? How brilliant are your eyes? I have a little looking glass upon my polished shelf. And if you'll step in one moment, dear, you shall be over yourself. Oh, thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you please to say. And bidding you good morning now, I'm calling that a day. <laughs> Well, so the spider turned him round about and went into his den. For well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he wore a subtle web, oh, so he wove a subtle web ha, ha, in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out to his door again and merrily did sit. Come hither, hither, pretty fly with a pearl and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple, there's a grass upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond rod for mine and dollars way. Ugh. Alas, alas, how very soon this silly little fly. Hearing his wily flattering words came slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft and nearer and nearer drew. Thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue. Thinking only of her crested head, your poor foolish thing at last. Up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den. Within his little parlour, she never came out again. Ow! And now, dear little children, who made this story read, to idle, silly, flapping words, I pray you never think. A to an evil counsellor, close heart and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly.